Now we'll wire the x-axis motor to the terminal block on the back of the x-carriage plate. Measure out the correct length of wire from the motor. We'll trim the wire from the NEMA 23, leaving enough slack that you can easily reach the terminal block with the wires. Next, loosen the top four right screws, strip the wires from the motor, and insert the wires into the terminal block. We'll be working with a consistent color code here as follows. From left to right, red, blue, green, black. Next, repeat the process with the Z-axis motor, being sure to leave yourself enough slack to thread the wire around the X-axis motor. Use the same wiring pattern from left to right, red, blue, green, black. Repeat this process with the two Y motors. Next, we'll cut the stepper cable that came with your X-Carve kit. Cut two six-foot long pieces, one four-foot long piece, and one three-foot long piece. Take the three-foot long piece and strip away the shielding on one end. You should take about two inches of shielding away. Be sure not to cut into the four wires inside. You'll be left with a little bit of foil around the wires, a ground cable, and some string. Remove all three of those things so that all that's left is the four wires, and then strip about a quarter inch from each wire. On the right Y motor mount plate, we'll attach this stripped piece of stepper cable. Follow the same wiring pattern that we used for the Y motor. You'll substitute white for blue. Next, thread this cable through the two pieces of x-axis maker slide. There's a slot in the Y motor mount plate just for this. Now strip the other end of the stepper cable and twist it together with the left Y motor wires. Join the black wires together and put them in the rightmost terminal. Join the green wires together and put them in the next terminal. Then we'll join red and blue and red and white and put them in the following two terminals. We swap one pair of motor wires to ensure that the motors spin in different directions, thus moving the gantry in one direction. Make sure that when you put a wire into a terminal block, there is no copper showing. Next, take the two six-foot lengths of stepper cable and prepare them as before. Put them into the 10 terminal block on the back side of the X carriage, corresponding to the X and Z motors. One of the six foot lengths will be on the right side of the terminal block and will correspond to the X axis motor. Use the same wiring pattern. The other six foot length of cable will be on the left side of the terminal block and correspond to the Z axis motor, again using the same pattern of red, white, green, black, from left to right. If you purchased a spindle with your kit that requires wiring, 
put the zip wire into the middle two terminals, black on the right, red on the left, on the bottom of the terminal block. Finally, use the four foot length of stepper cable, prepare it as before, and put it onto the left Y axis terminal block using the same pattern of red, white, green, black from left to right. 